Hey everybody, we're live from the insane asylum. <laughs> right. I mean, it does actually kind of uh, being it's a swall kind of feels like we're in jail. We should probably turn that off now. For the audience. Yeah, we should. Hey Allison, uh, wave. We're waving, doing some waves. Hello, Judy. YYG. Hello. Listen, we just recorded episode twenty-one, and I was looking back at the footage. And uh, I, uh, I think I need to clear something up. What? Uh, because in this chair, I look kind of fat. And no. I just want to, I just want to show. James I'm lean. Funny. I'm mean. And I'm a fighting machine. And uh, unfortunately, Eames chairs give you the worst kind of sit down fat. <laughs> sit down fat. Sit down fat. Everybody knows that sit down fat. Do you feel like we're in jail, kind of, with this, like... It is, with, like, the, like no, insane asylum. Like, look at this photo. I don't know. I don't know where we are right now. This is my photo. From it's, the, I mean, it's beautiful, from, from Nick. My friend, with the, chop, the head of the uh, Eamesburg chopped off. Yeah. We are Eames'd out right now. Wow, we... Two fake Eames and a bird with a head chopped off at Eames. Essentially, we're against Eames. They're right called fiends. Fiends. Fake Eames. Yes. Um... Yeah, we got we got a little lighting set up. Hopefully, you guys can appreciate the yeah, nice it's beautiful lighting on Nick, our faces. Do you faces. need some space? Do you need to come in here? I kind of get, get, get cozy. What do you think it would look like if we should probably tilt this down a little bit? Tilt this. Oh, I'm just gonna show off my fat more. <laughs> this is my vacation fat. Should we turn the lights to warm? Try it out. Let's try it out. Let's do one warm, one cool. All right. Okay, try that. Okay, how does that look? Oh, it's very moody. I feel like, I feel like I'm in a, Should we do two more? an I'm 80s to... noir, Just... a neon noir. Here's two more. No, one, one cool, one cool, one warm. It's too warm. Is this, what about this one being a cool one? Mm, yeah, I like it. Yeah? Okay. It's, it's, it's that neon noir, you know? <sighs> you know neon noir? No. Did is you that, ever see the, that movie? Did you ever see the, I mean, I think Blade, Blade Runner would be considered neon noir. Um, also, uh, Drive. Did you see that Ryan Gosling movie, Drive? Oh, yeah, I heard of it. Would somebody please take Nicholas to probably what he thinks is a blockbuster, but, uh, you know, just, just get him to see some movies. <laughs> Someone said, have you seen DJ Khaled in Florida yet? No, I haven't. Have you listened to the latest pod yet? Yeah, we did it. I, he said he hasn't listened oh, to the latest okay. pod yet. Uh, oh. But did you get a studio for the pod? We, uh, well, Nick surprised me. He rearranged his whole bedroom. Um, no, now it's, no studio for the pod yet. It's a, it's one a day. prime pod studio. One day, one day. One day. You know, guys, you gotta start somewhere, you know? Let's see. Are you in front of a whiteboard? We are not, Allison. We are in front of Nick's insane asylum wall. <laughs> This is, uh, you know, there's etchings in the wall marking every day he's been in this apartment. Um, let's see. There's a lot of waving. We waved at everybody. What's up, everyone? Jason Lepore, I've never listened. Ugh. You haven't listened to the podcast? Jason Lepore. Check it out, minor details. I kind of also, I kind of want to get a little, uh, th when I, so... Let me tell you my plan, guys, since you haven't listened to it yet and it comes out Sunday. The plan, right now I have my studio, which is nice. It's private. It's mm -hmm. a private office, but the walls don't go to the ceiling, so the audio is not private. I no. can't seal the audio. So what I've done, and what why we've been recording my room is like it's a nice, quiet space. And so I've decided, like, you know what? I'm not going to wait for a new space to figure out the podcast. I'm just uh -huh. going to do it in my room. Like, So I got, like, I have foam uh crate thing i don't know what do you call those things audio thing i got like things to put on my wall <laughs> to make it quiet um, foam insulation yes something like that yeah and uh yeah insulation I'm in, panels i'm turning my whole room into like a video audio space yeah and that's why i was kind of running on the uh the video patreon thing the other day i was like i'm gonna do tutorials i'm gonna do all this stuff I got lights yeah yeah it's great it's great because uh nick just completely rearranged his whole life uh, and I don't have to do anything. 
<laughs> well, James, you, you do a lot. You do the, the YouTube. We split I do, the work. We split I the do work. the YouTube. That's that's my big contribution these days. It's a, it's a good job. I it mean, is. It's, video editing is not easy. No, it's not. I have a whole new appreciation for the man, for, for Mirren, uh, uh, and what he must have to do for vlogging. I don't understand how anybody does vlogging. The amount of editing that they must do, like the amount of footage that they collect and editing... That's like out of this world. Yeah, like if you had a day job and started vlogging, like how does it even work? How do you do a day job and then do another day job of just <laughs> editing and then do another day job of just filming? Like how I do don't, you... I don't know how it's possible. You're, you're probably, you're probably doing weekly vlogs. I don't know, but the great thing about the podcast is we usually just talk for an hour and then, I mean, that's we don't, you don't do much editing, do you, Nick? I mean, or, it's probably it. I mean, I listen to the full thing. Right, again, right. Um, just in case there's any, like, tweaks or things I have to make. Yeah. Usually pretty good. It's usually, like, smooth sailing. Nothing ever happens. Except sometimes James goes on the, on these crazy <laughs> rants. I just have to cut it out. You know? Yeah. No, it's good. They're all sorts of controversial. Um, but, uh, yeah, Jason Poor, my, my wonderful manager from many of my jobs, including my one of my first jobs. What's up? Um, and uh, let's see, we've got some questions in here. Are they Warby Parker glasses? Yes, they are. Oh, sorry, Jake. Thank you for there's noticing. Also, there's, there's also a, a fly in my room. Yeah, he's our intern. Um, he's managing. <laughs> the fly? Yeah. Uh, we haven't heard a lot about your studio, Nick. How's it going with that? It's good. It's good. It's a learning experience, I think. You know, like I kind of touched on it, like the, the whole aspect of it not being sealed mm -hmm. is like a downside. But I think it's... Because you can't keep out seals. Yeah, there's been so many baby seals that came into my studio. Like, yeah. I, I gotta club them, you know? New York problems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Studio's been good. You know, obviously I'm working on a lot of, like, things and I... I don't know. I'm, I'm doing things I can't talk about in the studio, right? Because that's where the client work is. Right. Um... But yeah, like I kind of said, like my one gripe is like not having an enclosed space. And maybe that'll change in the future. So do you do late night Nick here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still? Yeah. I see. And yeah, I mean, it's not like the best setup. But I think the value of it is like, it's the first office. Like, whatever. Like, I'll figure it out. Like, it's yeah. not a big deal. Like, get my foot in the door. It's like baby steps, right? Like, I feel like I kind of touched on this. I, I think I kind of touched on this on the, the podcast was like, Sometimes you make excuses because you're not in the right situations. Mm. It's like, oh, I can't do this because I don't have whatever it is, right? Right. Like, I don't have a nice camera. I'm about to do some videos. I'm going to try to do some tutorial videos with my iPhone 6. Mm -hmm. Not even the newest iPhone. Mm -mm. A three-year-old iPhone. I'm going to start filming videos, tutorial videos with my iPhone in my bedroom. And I did buy these nice things. Yeah. I thought those were necessary. There's, yeah, I but mean... Don't make excuses, just do something. Right. And then figure it out later, you know? That was kind of, that was kind of the whole gist of my talk at Square One, was like, mm. don't wait for the right workspace, like, you can do work. Exactly. You just, just need to do it. Mm. Um, like, there's a lot of amazing tools at your disposal, in your pocket. Um, exactly. You know, just, uh, and, and there's nothing wrong with starting at sort of like, a, like maybe a lower quality than, than what you're hoping to eventually achieve. Yeah. I mean, I almost, I like how kind of like rough around the edges the podcast is right now, especially in the video aspect of it. Like, cause it just gives you room for improvement. Yeah. yeah like yeah. if you're just waiting to put out the perfect product, never gonna happen. That, that's never going to happen. Yeah. Um, even if it isn't a whiteboard, can you take a set of Crayola markers to that wall? Gosh, you guys, please no. Please no. Marker me, Nick. Uh, any updates to Minor Details merch? We need those Minor Details shirts, Nick. Those are... Those... I, did, I did do a hot take on the shirt. I just, like, whipped one up. I just wanted to see, like interest level mm -hmm. I can go back and check it forget. was low right yeah, it, it wasn't I mean we maybe had like 20 people tops interested in buying a t-shirt I think I set the price at 30 mm -hmm. um, 
which is pretty low, but I also did the poll on the Minor De Details Instagram, mm. which is at Minor Details Pod. Um, so maybe that was part of the problem. We haven't really promoted the Instagram much. I'm still, I was thinking about this today. Oh James. yeah? I was, I'm, ooh, updates. I'm trying to figure out how we should do the Instagram because yes, we could just repost the photos and stuff that we post on the blog. Mm -hmm. um, but the one thing I always come back to on Instagram is like, Instagram is a platform where you need to create content that is enjoyable for others. And that's how you grow. Like That's how you use Instagram as a beneficial tool. Mm -hmm. um, instead of just using it as another posting platform. Like, right. I think for minor details, somehow we need to create like snippets of the podcast or something where... You think from the YouTube or from, from the video? Yeah, like if, if we wanted to make the Instagram beneficial, like something worthy of a follow, it needs to be something that is... And it is valuable, right? Like mm. posting the one photo of like my litter box because we talked about it on the podcast is not valuable to anyone. No one really cares about that. But posting like a 30 second snippet of some sort of insight that we had on the My Details podcast might be of value. That could be cool. I mean, the other thing is, is, is what I just touched on, which was we should just start posting and then let it evolve. I can agree with that too. I, um, I also, but I do, I will wait, restrain you. I don't want to just post nine random photos. No, you post the tile. You post the tile of the nine and you say- Oh, you post one tile. One tile of the nine. I'm not saying nine tiles. Oh, so you don't- One tile of the nine. You don't make nine Just a images. teaser. You don't make nine images. Uh-uh. Oh, no. I misread that then. I. No. I can get on board with that. I'm one right. one photo of the nine, you know, three by three. And say right? pod, pods up. Yeah, pods up. I pods up, that. everybody. I can do that. Yeah. It's much better than the other. The other <laughs> one, you were like, James, I thought you had a really stupid idea. I thought, but... <laughs> James, I thought you were saying post nine photos on Instagram no. every single week. Like, no. Oh, I don't know. Do you guys have roommates? Why not do it outside of the room? I, Are you taking, saying, take this pod on the road? <laughs> Ooh, get tour. on Pod tour. <laughs> I do have three roommates. Yeah. None of them are here right now because they're at work and we don't have jobs, so. Yeah, because they moved out because they couldn't take the noise but, of our bumbling. But like I said, I'm podcasting my space right now. I got yeah. the foam. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Get that foam. I also went to the, I also went to the rubber store today. I bought... As you do. I bought eight foot of rubber. Eight yeah. feet. I mean, that's a common amount of, of rubber to buy. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Did that do anything? Pen up here? Probably. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. So we're, well, Nick is really Outfitting this space like we said beautifully. I'm just gonna do it. I mean, it's easy to take down. Just yeah, nail it up Take it down. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Let's see. Do we have any other questions? Nick the flo the vlogger Nick the vlogger? He, he yeah, so wait, that's his Instagram. Handle? No, is he saying, they're saying oh, what's up Dylan? They're saying Nick the vlogger. They're saying they want that vlog. I guess I don't know if I'm gonna do vlogs. That's a lot of it's a lot of time <laughs> It's a lot of time. I don't know how how uh, Mirren does it it's uh, it's quite time consuming. I I can only imagine. Let's see. There's a question for you, Nick. Hey, Nick. A recent Cleveland Institute of Art ID grad here. What's up? Thank you so much for visiting our school. Yo, that's awesome, Taco. Did you come to my thing? I forget if I met or not. If we met or not, but yeah. Congrats, man. Ooh. Bet well. What's up, man? Thank you for the for the compliment. Nice tan. It's a, it's more like a nice burn, because I got I got burned. I haven't been outside at all today, but I'm still more burnt than you. <laughs> Jules, we don't unfortunately we don't speak that um, any other languages besides English because we're um, yeah, we're we we have the American dilemma, uh, but uh, oh here we go Legion. Ooh. I got, I just got a potential client. My first, I'm a third year, 
at OCADU. What types of questions do you guys ask when sitting down for the first time? What is OCADU? Omaha College of Art Design University. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and what do you guys, what type of questions do you ask when sitting down with your client for the first time? Who are you? <laughs> Listen, this is about to be a learning experience for you, Legion. Your first client is a huge learning experience. Yeah. Um, sitting down for the first time. I mean, I, I guess... Your, your type of clients have been different than mine and James, right? My, well, my type of clients have often been... Companies. Yeah, companies or design teams within companies bringing me in to do work. Right. So, I mean, often it's just like really simple questions like, you know, what's the length of the project? And, um, you know, what, what are you looking to get from me? And what, simple things like that. What's your rate and everything? Yeah. Like I've had, I mean, I do a good bit of like client work that's remote. So I actually like quote a full project mm. fee and then we do the project and I just design and then send them emails and calls and things like that. Um, things to sit down and talk on the first meeting. I mean, I would definitely like talk about what their goals and aspirations are for their thing. I am assuming, I, I would say a lot of the times, especially when you're starting out, you get clients that are uh, trying to do startups, Kickstarters, things like that. You know, someone who doesn't have a lot of capital, maybe it's just some entrepreneur or something. Um, and yeah, you, you know, it's always good to like understand what their goals are. Like, what is the goal of the project? Is the goal to get you to a point where you can kickstart the project? Is the goal to get you to a point where you can sell it on Amazon? Like, what mm -hmm. is the goal? I think that's the main, the yeah. key, a key thing to ask. And is there ever a point that they can foresee that they would no longer need your, like, when is the handoff point? Like, is there... Make sure you make everything very, like, structured. Like, yeah. Um, I would suggest that, like, I don't know how you're going to base the, I mean, I've been telling James we should do a podcast on this for a long time and maybe we will one day, but how, how you want to structure the project, like I would say like make it very definitive, like I will do 10 sketches for the first round, 10 concept sketches, you choose one sketch, we will do five variations of that sketch, we will select one variation, then we will do a CAD model and once the CAD model is finished, we will prototype it, if there's any revisions, we will make one or two revisions. Wow. And then we will hand off the final CAD file. And then you are responsible for the manufacturing and the rest of the project. Wow. So I, I would definitely make it very definitive. Yeah. Make sure that they understand that you are a designer, not a manufacturer or an engineer. Right. You will hand them a file that is a design file. The intention. Right. The final thing that they should have a vision for not the final thing that it should be it should just be like this is what I, I guess it should be what I know. do you ever budget in like an engineer like you know consulting with an engineer I mean that's something you could do theoretically it, yeah for sure I mean there's all kinds of variations on that that's just the way I do it I mean yeah. it depends on who your client is it's very it's a conversation that is, that is a great bit of insight. Um, let's see, Spencer Milgree. Highlight clips. Highlight clips, <laughs> Highlight clips are uh, um, up on YouTube uh, on uh, Micro Details. Micro, I love it. My, well, it's under the Minor Details podcast, but then Micro Details. I know, and we got major, it's so good. Mm, yeah, it's, it's so the good. family of details, it's so good. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hello. Uh, Mar, oh, gosh, names. I usually just do like the first video. What's up, Mar? Yeah, good one. Um, make your Insta all the live links of the website to go see the actual products. You talking about affiliate links, maybe? I think they're talking about like the links on the website. Make it, yeah, ex exactly. I'm sorry, guys. It's so hard. <laughs> the you can do it, Nick. Though I'm using a Tumblr to create the website, My Details Podcast. Mm -hmm. And the reason I use Tumblr is because it's free hosting. 
So we don't have to pay anything to create the website. Right. But the restraint is that I don't have full control. Mm. So like you can't click on the pictures. Mm. I'm sorry. It's just not very easy. To well, do. once we hopefully if we get some, you know, good funding or sponsors. Yeah, we can, we get uh, the sponsors. Maybe we do a square yeah. or something. Um, do background information in things that are referenced. This is Legion again talking yeah. to his client. Yeah. Uh, I'm not familiar. I, I can't quite connect what you're trying to say. Yeah. Here. Oh, this is interesting. Live stream major details from... Minor details. From the... Or, sorry. Yeah, no. Live stream major details from the minor details Instagram. That makes actually oh. a lot of sense. It does. Thank you very much. And we were talking about crowdsourcing I also today on the podcast. That is... A case where crowdsourcing. You I know. also I also like doing the live stream from your account, James, because just because it connected our accounts together, you know. Right. I feel like it helped out. But I think I think as we grow, I think it would make sense to like have it be isolated to that, you know. Yes. Yeah. Um. But let's see. You should do the pod on segways. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> You send us some segues, uh, Adam, and we will absolutely do that. Adam, so do you have segues? The P.O. box is... <sighs> Ooh, we should P.O. box. Whoa, Abadur Chowdhury Yo, what's just up? joined. What? Wave? Oh, I'm wave everybody. Tony! Oh. We got... Oh, she gosh. So that's the studio. That's we, my, that's Tony, the studio. That's my better. Tony Elkington? Elkington? We've got we've got some major British industrial design players I, I told you, in I, the chat this, right now. This is what James said. He's like, oh, "Should we do major details? It's five p.m. here. Yeah, and, like, and no one's at off of work, so no one's going to join." I'm like, "Dude, Europeans. <laughs> They're about to go." To You're bed. a peeing. <laughs> I'm not a peeing. He's not peeing right now, but um, and Jules said Mirren gave us a shout out. Yeah, that was awesome. If you guys haven't checked it out, uh, check it out on YouTube on Mirren's channel. He, um, yeah, he put up uh, a YouTube channel of himself watching our podcast and inception. responding to it. Inception. Oh, total video inception. Um, Ontario College of Art and Design University. I was close. I had the all the rest right. I just didn't get the right. I said Omaha. What's up, Adam? How's it going, man? That is my, my wife's brother watching us. Uh Amazingly, also at that uh, college, Ontario College of Art and Design. I met him at the uh, at Square One. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, nice. Very cool guy. Hmm. Very nice. Very kind. Do we meet? I don't know. Probably. I, I can't connect the handles to the person. I'm sorry. That's the difficult part. We're the, getting. It's like the new name and face thing. It's yeah. Like handle to person. Oh, Alexander. Uh, you know Alexander. Um, oh yeah. He did an awesome got, tutorial. Got all the Europeans in here. I'm we, so happy. Yeah. He did an awesome tutorial on my helicopter, uh, rendering my helicopter, giving it motion blur. And he also sent me a link to um, something about sustainability, like plugging things into like the sustainability calculator for product. It looked a bit, it looked a bit spreadsheet-ish. And I feel like there's probably something, Interesting. something down the road that'll hopefully be a bit more cleaned up and usable. So it's a calculator for how sustainable a project is? Uh, yeah, I mean, it breaks it down into all sorts of categories about sustainability. Um, but yeah, that's that's the tricky part about sustainability is there's so many, there's so many like subcategories to it that I feel like, you know. Yeah, you know, manufacturing, um, transportation, like. Yeah, so, but that was really cool. Thank you for sending that. Um, what about consulting with the manufacturer, Legion says. Um, I mean, that's not necessarily your role it's, in, it's, in the project. Yeah, you're definitely not like a sourcing manager or anything like that. No. You could take that on if you enjoy that, for sure. I don't, you know, do what you want. But Yeah. Oh, man, this this chat is so good. But I, I have to I have to be leaving soon, probably in the next three minutes. But uh, we'll T take a minus, few more questions. T minus three minutes. How open are you guys to a live pod as speakers hosted by a school on the West Coast? Absolutely. Do it. Uh, send us the ticket information and uh, 
Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, if you guys can sponsor us, we'll yeah. come. Yeah, we would, email us. We would love to take the show on the road and. Uh, my name details pod. Yeah. Cast at gmail dot com. Oh my gosh, Hectorius. Hector. Did, Hector. You don't got work. Oh, James is here. Oh, oh my. Yes. What's up? What the heck? Why is this the <laughs> hottest? He's right here. He's knocking on my door. <laughs> Why is this the hottest stream we've ever done on Major Details? I guess that 5 p.m. schedule, you know? Oh my gosh. Dad jokes. You know it. You know it, Spencer. Uh, hola, said Alejandro. Oh, it's... A lot of people. Hey, it's uh, 2340, um, you know, a clock in uh, Sweden. So what is that, 1130? Yeah, it's 1130, right? 1140. El Cardi, hello. Okay, we're down to the bottom. Okay, guys, unfortunately I have to go. This is a hot chat, but I gotta, I gotta cut it. Uh, I gotta be heading out, but- We gotta leave, you gotta leave you once and more. Oh, always. But thank you so much for your support. We're, we're kind of, we're growing now. Like we're, yeah. we're growing and expanding and- Making moves making moves and it's really exciting and we we can't thank you enough for for all the support so far yeah. all i did was buy two lights and james thinks we're like oh expanding. and moved his desk as well wait let me can i can i show them yeah. the room really quick it's clean enough i think so so check it out we got lights we've got camera which i'm holding we have action right there look at that action but yeah i mean we're uh, we're getting there it's happening it's all happening so, uh, thanks again, everybody, and, um, you know, tune in, tune in, uh, on Sunday, Nick will be releasing the, the audio pod, right? Yep. Uh, and then usually on Mondays, um, I'll be releasing the, um, video, the video. Andy Gow, oh man, warm, <laughs> warm and cool light, crazy. I know, right? Isn't that wild? Um... <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, thank you so good. much for tuning in to the elusive Major Details. It'll also be posted next week, um, so you can re-watch the thing that you've just watched live. Um, or tell your friends about it. Yeah, absolutely. Tell your friends. Uh, tell your parents. Um, That's where you get that real content, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's raw. It's uncensored. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so anyway, guys and gals. We'll see you next week. Peace out. Major details. What up?